Now, I know many of you are aware of licensing online, but you might not realise just how simple it is to use. So let me show you how. First of all, you go to the home page, select software, and you can see the license online icon here. So just click onto that, and that will take you to the page where you can see all the different vendors we have. So I'm going to go for Microsoft, and here you can select the type of customer you have. So we're going for corporate customer and the type of license you want. So I'm going to go for an open license. So do that and click go. And you can see here at the bottom, there's all sorts of extra information that you can have a read through as well if you need to. Now, this will take you to the page where you can pick your license. So if I click on here, you can see these are all the different Windows licenses available. So I'm going to go for Windows Server. So just click onto that. At the bottom here, we can see all the different types of servers. So I'm going to go for a standard server here. Mm -hmm and then you're ready to press go again to take you to the next stage. So here you can see what we have selected. Now I can either decide to pick a licensed software assurance pack. I don't think I need that this time. So I'm going to go for a standard pack and I need two of those. So just type in the number you need and then click on your basket to take you straight there. Now you can see at the bottom here, my basket has come up with what I've ordered and there's a little message here that's flashed up. So you can look down at this bottom section to see if there's anything else you need to do before you can complete your order. Now this is telling me I haven't quite got enough points to complete my order. That's okay because I know I'm going to add some user cows, so that will bring me up to what I need. So if I go to the top here, click on user cows, and again click go once more. And you can see my user cows have been brought up here. Now I'm going to go once again for a standard pack. And I know I have 20 users in the company. So enter the number there and then click on the basket to take you back to your basket. So all really straightforward so far. And you can see my updated basket now at the bottom with everything I have ordered. You can see that message that has flashed up has gone now, so everything's fine. You can also get a good idea of your pricing so you know exactly what you're spending. And if you have an authorization number, now's the time to enter that in the box here. And you can see at the bottom here, you can decide what you want to do with that order. You can either export it to Excel, you can send it as an end user quote, or you can just save the quote if you want to. So you are ready to continue now. So just press continue, which will take you up to the final stage. So here you have to enter all the reseller contact information and the end user information. Then you decide how you want to ship this. You can either ship direct to yourself or you can ship it to the end user. And of course that goes to them in the form of an email with a link that they then have to follow. So just click on all those relevant details and then click on continue. As you can see, it's easy to use. You can quote for your customers instantly and all the compatible licenses are available for your information. And don't forget the renewal dashboard, which is key for all of your renewal business. So what are you waiting for? Log on and get going. Shit.